so we are holding this uh, press conference today um, on this issue of uh, recruitment uh, the last time uh, when i had the press conference i informed uh, everyone that uh, uh, how important the ut administration thinks that this recruitment process should be expedited uh, so till date uh, earlier around uh, 1120 you know jobs have already been provided regular government jobs have been, have already been provided to the youth of ladakh but the major uh, you know recruitment uh, of the posts of the uh, ut cadre or what we call divisional cadre group b posts uh, these 797 Group B posts uh, had been referred to the Staff Selection Commission uh, in December uh, 2021, and the uh, examination or uh, for these posts was done by the uh, SSC in the year 2022. And uh, as you all know, that uh, there were some court issues uh, because uh, some application forms had been rejected by the. SSC because they they were there were some deficiencies in the uh, application form so these uh, uh, candidates uh, or applicants they were not issued issued the admit cards so they went to the uh, CAT and uh, then CAT issued an order that uh, the SSC should issue them admit cards and take their exam so they 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 uh, again that exam was uh, you know the uh, they also sat in the examination and then their result uh, was also prepared by the SSC. But then the CAT in the final decision, uh, they said that uh, their applications could not be, should not have been entertained. Then they went to the High Court. So High Court, uh, you know, on 30th of June, uh, the double bench, uh, the double, uh, the DB of the uh, High Court of JNK and Ladakh, uh, they gave their, uh, you know, judgment order that uh, now as these candidates have also you know sat in they also sat in the examination they have undergone the whole process you now some of them have also found their place in the merit list so uh, the result of all the candidates should be declared so against this decision of the uh, you know the of the honorable high court of jnk and ladakh uh, the ssc went to the supreme court and we kept following the case because uh, we uh, felt that the result of at least those candidates which are the majority uh, candidates uh, whose application forms were uh, without any defects at least their result should be declared even if there are some candidates who somehow their application forms were some deficient as per the norms so that decision the supreme uh, the ssc can take but at least those can which are majority they, their result should be declared but then SSC felt that they should go to the Supreme Court, so we followed it. Uh, we we pursued it in the Supreme Court. So after you know a lot of persuasion, uh, then when the Honorable Supreme Court, then they gave a decision that uh, as a one-time exception, uh, the result should be uh, declared. So this was a big relief for both the candidates of the UT of Ladakh as well as the administration of UT of Ladakh because our posts are lying vacant and we need these uh, you know, posts filled as early as possible. So after that, now we have got finally, I just, uh, we are holding this press conference to tell you that now finally we have got the select list in physical form. These uh, select lists have come to us and uh, the around 547 you know, candidates list has come to us. Other season, other, uh, uh, you know, the remaining is in the pipeline. So around 42 categories of posts are there, which have come to us. Now it is a detailed exercise uh, because once the select list comes to us, we have to segregate these, uh, you know, 547 candidates. So we have created a special cell, you know, in the GAD that these applications, uh, these select lists, they should be scrutinized, they should be segregated uh, in a time-bound manner. And we have set a timetable for us that these uh, candidates uh, should be able to, you know, uh, join their places of posting. Uh, one important thing which I want to, you know, inform the candidates and their parents through this press conference is that uh, 
that these uh, we had two recruitments going on simultaneously one recruitment was being done by the staff selection commission for our ut level posts which are 797 which i just you know detailed and another recruitment was also going on simultaneously in the district recruitment boards you know for the posts which we call district cadre posts so for that we have two our own uh, uh, subordinate services recruitment boards of district level one is in le and another is kargil headed by the respective dc so another 1230 posts which are district cadre posts uh, which uh, you know 635 belong to le and uh, 595 belong to kargil the selection of these posts is also was also going simultaneously now the results of these district level posts has also now come to us from the le roughly around 325 plus uh, select list has come to us of the district order posts also uh, kargil uh, will be soon submitting to us because they could not submit it because of the um, model code of conduct which was there in view of the lsdc kargil election they will also be so we have a huge task before us you know issuing appointment orders of the 797 roughly 800 candidates as well as issuing appointment orders for the 1230 district posts so i just want to inform the you know successful candidates that there is every likelihood that one candidate may be figuring in more than one category or more than one you know posts so he may also be figuring suppose in uh, a post in the one department and also in an a, a, another department similarly he may also be figuring in the district recruitment select list also so the my my you know appeal to everybody and in order to save time and in order to save our posts because one has to remember one thing because once you join against a post you know after you are issue, issued a formal appointment letter that post is treated to have been consumed because then that post cannot be transferred to a waiting list candidate so that post gets sort of consumed and then we have to again refer that post to the respective uh, recruitment board for selection so the candidates have to be very very careful uh, the results are already ssc results are already on the you know website we already have the lists they already know that they have been selected so even among the select list uh, of the ssc there will be a higher category there will be a lower category i am giving you an example of say planning department so in the planning department we sent two Uh, a category of post for selection to the ssc one is the statistical assistant which is a higher post and then there is a junior statistical assistant which is a lower post and the candidate who is in the statistical assistant merit list also is figuring in the junior assistant uh, ssa list also so it is very important that uh, of course anybody who is selected both as a statistical assistant as well as a junior statistical assistant will always go for the statistical assistant so that is why we are also releasing the list in this manner that we first issue the list of statistical assistant so that that is a higher post so that let them join against that so that the post of junior statistical assistant because then they will not be in the that list so then the reserve list can operate so the other uh, stu uh, uh, students other candidates who are in the line can also get the benefit so my request to all the candidates is that they should you know you know uh, consider it very carefully where they are going to join because once they join our post will get used i will our post will get consumed so this is an example i gave to you so once you first of all we will be issuing you the appointment offers so that is the procedure we issue you an appointment offer we say that you have been selected now please uh, you have to give your acceptance there is a form a particular form where you have to give your acceptance letter once you give your acceptance letter for say in the post of statistical assistant then you will be sent for a medical examination because medical test is a mandatory requirement for issuing the formal appointment letter so after you have been Uh, uh you are you have accept, accepted the appointment uh, order and then offer and then we have sent you for the medical examination and you have been found medically fit for government service then we will issue you a formal appointment letter and then you will go and join against your at your post so this is the procedure for all categories of post so the candidates have to be uh, very very uh, careful so that their other brethren who are in the reserve list because at this time we don't disclose the reserve reserve list in the district recruitment uh, selections we disclose it but whereas in the ssc the procedure is that they only give us the select list and then they then they wait for us to tell that out of the 58 uh, 
uh, say only 40 have joined, though there are 18 uh, boys who have not joined. Maybe they have found employment somewhere else. So then we request the SSC, please send us a list of additional 18 candidates. So then these are called the reserve list. But as far as the uh, the uh, district recruitment lists are concerned, there the candidates know that they are in the waiting list. So that, that is the difference. So this uh, uh, thing will be done in a very, very clockwork uh, manner. Like we, we will first, you know, segregate. We try to segregate them by 15th of October. Once they are uh, segregated, then another three, four days we will take to issue the appointment offers to these, uh, you know, candidates. And then candidates will be given a time because uh, suppose if a candidate is outside, because once you have given the appointment offer, we wait for at least one month for the candidate to respond. So the candidate can respond the other day also. He can respond on day one, he can respond on day two, but 30th day he must respond. Otherwise he loses it appears then then it will be deemed that he is not interested in the appointment offer so one month that will take us uh, you know uh, we will wait for you for one month then once we get your appointment offer maybe we get it on the second day or third day or 10th day accordingly you will be sent for the medical examination and we have constituted you know two medical boards specially for this purpose one is in the lay one is in the uh, Kargil district so that these candidates most of them would be fit but that is a requirement that we should get a certificate from the medical board so then after they are found physically fit then we will issue them the uh, formal appointment letter so then this will happen both for the SSC as well as it will happen for the recruit, uh, district recruitment board uh, post so we plan that uh, by November end uh, these uh, roughly around 2000 uh, candidates they must get their appointment letters and our post should get filled. So this is a, 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 a sort of a, a very welcome news for the youth of uh, Ladakh. Uh, some, some people had ex, uh, you know, expressed this apprehension that those candidates who could not make it to the select list, they were thinking of, you know, uh, thinking of going to court for, I don't know what they perceive that there they, they was some system or uh, again some normalization which I have not understood, but I would, uh, we have taken a, a preventive action on that also. Now we are uh, filing a caveat in the Honorable High Court. I had asked those, asked the successful candidates that you, you may also file that caveat, but we cannot only leave it to them. So we, because our interest is more in this because we want our post to be filled. So we are also, uh, you know, I, I think shortly within a day or two, that caveat also will be filed. So that's way also we will secure that these posts are you know, ultimately they are now after such a long struggle that you have got these posts, they must be uh, filled and the boys and the candidates, girls and boys, candidates, they must get their appointment. So another thing is that we are now, uh, this is regarding the non-gazetted posts. So for gazetted posts, we are, uh, you know, in a, again, in a very planned and clockwork manner, we are uh, framing our recruitment rules because they are to be sent to the UPSC for clarification. So we have already, uh, you know, sent around five departments recruitment rules, as far as I recall. The rest are in the, uh, you know, pipeline because it is a detailed exercise. Uh, first, the recu re recruitment rules are framed. Then, after they are being, they are framed. Then they are put to the public domain uh, for at least a month. Then, after they are put to the public domain for a month, and the stakeholders respond or may not respond, then whatever uh, stakeholders responses are, they are again studied and whether some, some which are, you know, cogent or which are important or which are really, uh, uh, you know, uh, worth, you know, incorporating, we do that. After that, again, we take some approvals and then we upload it on the RRFMS website of the UPSC. So it's a detailed exercise. At every level, you have to be very, very, uh, you know, accurate. So this takes time, but then we are doing it in a very planned manner and uh, we also have targeted that uh, by end of November, all our recruitment, uh, you know, guested recruitment rules are roughly 33 departments. They must be with the UPSC and some of them and most of them should also get back to us after their approval because only after UPSC approves them, we can notify them because the Honorable Lieutenant Governor of the, uh, of the UT of Ladakh has been empowered to issue the registered recruitment rules also, but after consultation and approval of the UPSC. So on that front also we are working because we, we plan that we target that once we are, 
you have finished the recruitment rules and notified them by end of November, then we will have a, a, a gap or a, a, the opportunity of one month to actually refer them to the UPSC for recruitment. So we hope that by next year, these gusted, gusted posts also will get filled. Then our, uh, all our you know, uh, posts which are with, with us, they will all get filled and this will be you know culmination of all this thing. Simultaneously, you know, this year, we sent another post, around 203 uh, posts we sent to the SSC. SSC has already taken, you know, you know th that ex examination has happened. The, the, their merit lists are being prepared. These are the, in addition to the 797 earlier. So these 203 posts. So that makes roughly around 1,000 posts SSC. So they they are also being scrutinized, and shortly their merit list would be would also start you know basically uh, coming. So now the uh, once now this thing has happened. Now the the this procedure or this uh, particular important work of providing a job to the youth of Ladakh. Now it has you know uh, this has got re now realized. So this is what I wanted to you know share with you. And uh, through you, I wanted to also share, uh, uh, congratulate those candidates who have become, you know, who have been successful, who have got into the merit list. And uh, we are you now very upbeat that they will, and they will come and join us. And once they join us, you know, the speed and the delivery of the public uh, services will improve. Because if you don't have, you, if you have your posts unfilled and vacant, then certainly the public delivery of the government services gets affected uh, because one person holds many charges. Maybe he is not competent also to hold that charge because that is, uh, you know, some ad hoc arrangement. So then the services don't get delivered properly. But once you have right people at right place and post filled, then the, definitely the services get improved and the, the, the people of Ladakh will get better services. So that is uh, what we are, you know, aiming at. We have, we have been working on it very, very, you know, uh, meticulously. But as the matter was, you know, went to the courts and other things, but ultimately with the blessings, you know, of all people, now we have uh, now come to the stage that when it is now fully, you know, materialized. So that's what uh, I wanted to share with you. So thank you very much.